plan here for the sewing team. Um, instructions how to mark up the material once we cut it. The most important thing is to centralise the armhole in the middle and um, then the other armhole will be on the seam the other side. It, it will become obvious and then the, then the um, stencils will go either side of the armhole so they'll be front and back on the barrel. That's that. The material unrolled. We need to measure 210, which is 210 centimetres along there, mark it, along there mark it and then we're going to get a straight edge and do a, a straight line across and then we're going to do that 20 times for the 20 barrels. Right, we're doing now the height of the barrel. Yeah, the height of the barrel. And cool. I've decided to round it up to 130 cool. so that we've got a bit of play on the actual pipe width. Um, so it goes, there's enough hem to go round over the pipe. So say 130 cool. centimetres. So if we do this up the length of this one, and then we can cut this one out, Vanilla, and then we'll. Um, cool. Fine. Mm -hmm. so we do three up to that, and then we get our straight. Can you straighten yeah. that one out there? Sorry. No, no problem. I think the boys are gone. Yeah. <laughs> talking. We can leave that on the video. <laughs> Man busy talking. <laughs> Saying at this stage, is also going to be on we need to you need to check which way round the material is because Eddie was saying that it looks like there's a right and a wrong side. So when well, one's more fluorescent when the light hits. So yes. So you yeah. need to just check when you come to sew that you're starting off on the right side. Cool. The, the right size fabric has been cut. <laughs> Probably the next best thing as we hear is to mark up the centre armhole which we're going to show that in the middle of that. So the important thing is the height, which we want to come down. If you have a look on here, you can have something like 12 centimetres for the top hem, 20. So that's, that's 32. And then the top of the armholes there. So I might round up, it's about 35. Um, halfway. Yeah. Should, would it be any help to fold it in half? That sounds a good idea, doesn't it? Well, mm. I'm not quite sure. Sounds good. So fold yeah. it in half. That's a good idea. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And then... So once it's folded in half, yeah, you measure down 20, 32, plus a bit of hem, so say 35, I think. 35 yeah, centimetres or inches? Six centimetres, oh we're not, we're all in centimetres. We're all in centimetres, okay. And then the actual armhole, just go over to that pattern and see, yeah. it should say 25 for the armhole. Yes, it does. 25 centimetres for the armhole. Cool. 
25 is, is that right? Yeah, 35. I could just check it by seeing how much you had left. 25, that's it. Cool. And then we'll mark out on the set side seam as well so that we know when we're fixing the side seam together, sewing the side seam down, we know where to stop for the, uh, and leave a gap for the armhole. So we want 35 there, down to 60 there. Both bits. Yeah, around here you mean? Yeah. Would be a good idea, wouldn't it? And then we've got no, no problem. All I'm doing is just making sure when we cut the slit mm -hmm. in the armhole, we're going to actually be in the middle. Okay. So the middle is going to be on that fold, cool. which is going to be there and there. So we're just going to cut along there. And then that, you will fold over the backing fabric with a non-fray backing fabric and reinforce that with zigzag stitch around there. Excellent. Okay. I'm just about to cut the um, reinforcing for the armhole and if you could look at the instructions, cut backing strip for armhole from non-frame remnant fabric approximately 35 centimetres by 5 centimetres. So that's just what I'm going to do now. So, 5 centimetres. How, much, how many centimetres? 5 by 35. It's not critical, it's just to, to reinforce the hole so that the machine has got something to bite against, really. Mm. That's it. Thank you. I'm going to go. go. So, all the way around, I'm folding it over about, um, what's that in centimetres? A centimetre or less, really. And I'm going to sew a zigzag stitch if I can remember how do that and I'm going to do that all the way around the edge yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, zigzag might make that a bit longer and I well and also I should say that that's that's the inside of the fabric that's the outside the shiny side and so I'm actually sewing on the outside down there because I folded that over Cool. Okay, what's happening here then? Um, this is the reinforcement, this is for the armhole because it's very important having armholes so you can hand out leaflets. Ah. And also scratch your nose. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever else you want. <laughs> what I'm doing here is making the inside armhole which has already been marked uh, when we cut it out and I've just I've just opened it up so I can turn these and these back so I'm working with the wrong side upside um, and my object is going to be to turn these back but with this piece in the middle which I've cut a hole in to the same length as the hole there now this is completely made up untried untested so I hope it's going to work then the idea is we're just going to put that in there and then I'm probably going to pin it because I've brought my pins and that's going to be go down there It'll be sewn down there so I'm going to sew it zigzag along there and then the same on the other side when I've done that one I should pull the other one through and do the other side but first of all I'm going to do this side and I've got some pins which people who aren't as cat candid as me might not need but it'll all fall because it's quite slippery material 
I'm not convinced that it will stay in place if I don't pin it. It's like being on Blue Peter, this, isn't it? I feel I should have one I made earlier so I could speed it up a bit. It's not fraying on the edges like the fabric I used for the first barrels which obviously needed to be zigzagged on the edges but this we decided we've had a team talk and we decided that actually we don't need to zigzag it Excellent. so it just cuts down the time so depending on the fabric that you get depends on whether you need to do that initial zigzag on the edge or not okay and on the arms and yeah um, well the, the armholes will need zigzagging because okay. of the usage and it's going to get quite a lot of wear okay. but just the straight edges um, we're going to go for not zigzagging. Cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I just checked under the spotlight that this is the shiny side and this is the side that looks square. So that's the back. That's the back. This is the shiny side. This would be the side that we do the um, template and the symbols on. And we've got a template for the radioactive symbol there. So permanent markers. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a finished barrel, so you can check with measurements um, where you're going to put them. But you want to put the symbol halfway between this hole and the side on that. So this will be the front of the barrel, and then you want to put another one halfway between the hole and this side, because this will be the back of the barrel, because we're going to. And make a tube with it. And then halfway. Uh, no, you need to measure on the barrel. You need to measure on the barrel. Okay. I can't quite work out where we put it, but yeah. if you do it in relation to the armhole, that will be the most accurate. I mean, it doesn't have to be 100 100%, but you can see. Okay, so we've got it here. So you need to allow yourself enough to put that, and then the radioactive waste work underneath it. And that's your armhole there. So it's starting, if you look at it, there about halfway down the armhole. That, okay. that's, that's, that's accurate enough. Yeah, right. All right. Right. And it, make sure your symbol is like this, so you've got your two and then your one on the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so following on from what uh, Joe was saying, we're now doing the, the stenciling of the radiation sign and the, the letters using the stencils. Um, so we're doing it on the outside, which is the shiny side, not the, the sort of um, square side, which is the inside. Um, we're doing it, this is this is the top, and you know that because the, where the armhole is cut is further up the, um, the material, so that means this is the top, and then we're doing it on the, the both sides, so this would be the front and this would be the back, and uh, so we'll be doing the stencils both sides, and we're starting the radiation sign about halfway um, along the arm slit, so halfway here, and then halfway between the arm slit and the end. So, is at the top. Yeah. The stencil letters. They're they're fifty mil um, letters, and then we've we've taken the A to be the sort of centre point of radioactive. And then waste is going to be the S of waste, which we haven't got to yet. Cool, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. And it's now ready to put together. And the symbol's the right way up. Yeah. Yep. 
So Jane's going to put this together oh and then we'll be ready to put the shoulders on. So it's just and sewing the two ends together and that's yes. cool. Leave yeah. Leaving an armhole and you've got your marks for your armhole. So. so you leave an armhole? Yes, it's marked on the edge here. Oh yeah. And how do you know how far that is? Is it just lines up with the one in the middle? Yes, yeah. it's our number because one I marker upper. <laughs> <laughs> For the film. Off. This was one that you did. It's so a 25. Down to there and then to there to the yeah. top. Um, pipe lag in, 20 mil, um, it's four packs of five, um, so you can do five barrels with one pack, and four lengths of studding, which is a metre long, 10 mil, you can do five barrels with one piece. And that's for the arms, is it? To that's, that's for the arms for a bit of comfort, and it's t um, five millimetre or 4.8 millimetre tie wraps, um, pack of 100, that'll do you a lot of barrels. White tape, just yeah. to have this to be the Love it. Mm -hmm. It's £25 for effectively 20 barrels worth, probably with a bit of tape left over. Maybe. We're marking out 10 millimetre studded in lengths of roughly 100 millimetres. So it so with a bit of marker thanks. pen, just so that we can yes, see where to cut. We can do a few lengths at a time, make it a bit quicker. So we've got one ba we've got one barrel, two barrels, three, four, five. Five barrels worth. Cool. What do you use this for? Um, to make the tube into a loop. You put the piece of studding into the end of the tube with a bit of tape, bend it round and then plug it. It just links the tube to itself. Okay, cool. We'll have a look at it in a minute. So we're just putting the metal saw using the full length of the blade to study. the blade do the work rather than the forcing it. Right, so we've cut the lengths and now we're just going to dress the end with a file just so we get rid of the sharp edges. Is that so people don't hurt themselves? That's right, right yeah. Okay. It can be quite sharp. Both sides. Yeah, both sides. Okay, then what are you doing now then? Uh, we're marking out the shoulder, the shoulder holders. Okay. And then we're just going to cut this out of a bit of scrap wood. It can be any wood from about four to six millimetres thick. That's like MDF, ply, just to make a simple um, horseshoe shape. Cool. And we're marking it out and trying to optimise the wood and minimise the cutting so we're sort of keeping oh, okay. like so we can, cool. um, and it's not precise it's just a rough shape we're going to put some foam around it so it's comfortable <laughs>
finished cutting and um, the wood we've cut has been a bit sort of fraying and wasn't... Uh, but anyway, we've sanded it down to get rid of all the rough edges. So, use a bit of rough sandpaper, use a file as well, just so that people don't get hurt when they're putting them off, get rid of the splinters. And what you'll do is you'll end up with a selection of shoulder pads that need drilling. So, We've got a template here for one we made earlier. It shows it doesn't have to be that precise. They're all a bit different, but it doesn't really matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes. Um, yeah, go. We're going to drill the hole. The hole's going to be the size of the pipe you're using. Our pipes are six and a half millimetres, so we have to drill a 60 millimetre hole and sand it a bit. Okay. okay. So we're going to connect the uh, barrels, uh, the loop, make the loops now. So you get a bit of 10 mil stud in. Wrap a bit of insulation tape around it about once and a bit. Get your pipe length. This is because our middle of our pipe is 10 mil. If yours isn't 10 mil, you need to adjust for that. Lock it with a hammer. Possibly a little bit less tape on the next one. Um, so we can trim any excess off. I think it'd be okay. But with the knife, I'll get the knife just trim the excess off. So it just makes the peg. So then we do the loop. The studding doesn't slip back. Let's hope this sort of spreads because it's happening every week, isn't it? Because there's so many causes. So, so we've got our length. So right. we thread length of the barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Need to be called this bit because it's really screwed up ourselves. This next bit. Should say screwed up, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, right. Because um, what you want. The you clip power? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make you feel better. Length, so, so the end without, with the end without the studding, because the studding may still have a sharp edge and cut the fabric. Yeah. So the blunt end. The blunt end. Cool. Goes through. So it needs at least two of you. And it might need three. Three will be easier, but two's okay. You need to bend it and feed it, so without ripping the stitching. So as you get halfway around quite easily, it's not it's quite cushy, but English breakfast. Like Blue Peter. Here one's here's one we made earlier. <laughs> No, because there's no difference. I mean, if you have it, it's perfect. You know, whatever it is, whatever it is, right, so that's through. Move it all the way around. Get the two ends. One of you hold it. Oh. That's good, isn't it? Hey. It normally just clicks into place, then. It's not quite. Why is that not clicked in? I don't know. Just lucky, I guess. Maybe we've got something up the hole. <laughs> there you go. Hey. It did. Actually, it's Brilliant. good having that struggle on there because you'll know that you've just got to persevere because it will actually click into place. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got the we'll have to delete this. That's <laughs> <laughs> how you make your clown's costume. First, you need two clowns. You need a woman on the job, by the way. <laughs> I like that bit, don't you? Know? Yeah. Go on then. Put the fabric out, that's it. Sugar. It's because it needs to be straight. Two. Yay! <laughs> it needs a woman's touch. Now, you see that's not quite a circle. You go like that. And then what will happen, we'll put the framework in the top and that will actually hold it into the right shape. Okay. With the tie cool. wraps. Brilliant. No, 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 so really? Yeah, I guess the, like, the Yeah, we've had these really kind of plush velvets. Yeah, we take it so it's beyond yeah. the joint. The joint will stick around in there somewhere. Mm. And then we'll get the, yeah, we'll get the framework on the top then. Like Brilliant. Um, long pillow cushions with, um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bit that takes a little bit of time. Mm.
Yeah. Yeah. So, the barrel skin, we took one piece of pipe and we fitted it and then we trimmed it to length so we knew that the hoop was the right size for the skin. Once we had that, we fitted a bit of studding in down the bottom. Template for the thing, I'm not sure how. With the shoulder pads and everything. Okay, cool, cool. Right, so. Take a pipe. Yeah. At its end. Yeah. Take a pipe. Push it down towards the ground. Lock it together. Yeah. So that can go as well for your circle. It doesn't matter if they're not all the same size because we're not all the same size. Aye. So we're going to have a. We can just mark them out roughly. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get a pen. Uh, mark a pen. We're going to get a marker pen. I'm going to put some dots where to drill some holes. So this one's here is going to be this slightly broader than the last one. We could the join's going to be roughly at the back, which is a better place than on the first one we've just done. So we can then pull this apart. We can drill half the hoops we made with six, five or six mil holes. Um, so that then we've got them ready to assemble. Cool. Alright. So um, there's also the two holes for the cross the cross brace. Cool. Alright, forgot those. Cool. Alright, so keep it circular for ease of handling. Brilliant. So there's the marker. Marker. Dead. So we've drilled a six mil hole in this all the way through. And then we've done that at each end. Cool. And then done that on all of them. Yeah. So, um, so that's going to go across here. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have some pieces that go across here. Yeah, on the, on the above. Um, uh, yeah, oh, that will be above. Yeah. yeah. So you can like that. It. I like that. Right. Okay, here's the, the template. Um, to thread it through the barrel skin, um, all these are going to have to be cut and uh, it's all going to have to be re reattached. Um, cool. The other thing to add is the lagging, which will go for comfort. Brilliant. So that'll go around like that. Fantastic. So we'll need cutting. Two, three, go. Okay, so here's a finished barrel. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's yeah, it's all been attached. Here's the, the lagging. Um, cool. It's been taped at the ends to the um, to the supports. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Brilliant. Do you want to put it on? Go on, Adam. <laughs> hey. <laughs> They've got the nice thing. Perhaps you ought to get, wait and get a smaller drill. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, brilliant, thank you. <laughs> it's been a fantastic uh, workshop. We've got three quarters done, I would say. It's the last bit putting it all together and the last bit of stenciling and sewing needed. Um, and then we want everybody to make barrels. And we want to see everybody in London wearing them on the 15th of March. Look forward to seeing you there on Fukushima Day.